dogs, no matter how strong and healthy, can be vulnerable to one deadly enemy, poison. That's why on our initial episode, we will show you how anti-poison training is done, the Spratly K9 way. Para sa akin, yung pagtuturo ng uh, anti-poisoning, hindi ko muna siya gagamitan ng tunay na pagkain. Kasi ang tendency, pagka tunay na pagkain yung hinagis mo sa aso, mas malakas ang temptation ng aso na kunin yung pagkain eh. So habang tinuturo natin sa kanya yung konsepto, yun munang hindi talaga pwedeng kainin ang iba to natin. First step, the dog should be asked to lie down beside the handler while another guy posing a stranger will throw some tidbits in front of the dog. While the tidbits are being thrown, a handler shall command the dog in a mild manner to remind him that he is not supposed to touch it. As soon as the tidbits are thrown, the handler shall walk away while praising the dog. Good boy. After the first lesson is completed, the handler and the dog must move to another position and start the exercise all over again. But this time, the tidbits shall be thrown at a much closer distance to the dog. Now, yung sa susunod na level, pag alam na nung aso yung konsepto na hindi niya dapat kainin yung mga binabato sa kanya, that is the time na gagamitan mo siya ng edible na pagkain, pero less tempting pa rin. Preferably, pandesal o kaya yung sliced bread. Since real food is used, the guy posing as stranger will throw the pieces of food at a farther distance. The handler must continue to stay beside the dog so that he can correct the dog in case it is needed. The concept of any dog training lesson revolves around constant and consistent repetition. And training the dog the anti-poison does not mean yelling, jerking, and hurting the dog in order to ignore the food. It should be an enjoyable process and a positive learning experience for your four-legged friend. Try to apply what you have learned from today's lesson. Next week, we will give you the second part of our anti-poison training. So keep on watching Pets Unlimited for more informative tips and practical training solutions. See you again next week and God bless. For the past two episodes, we have shown you the detailed steps on how to anti-poison train your dog. Today, we will show you the third and final stage of our series, the test-proofing stage. After the dog has learned not to accept food from strangers while his handler is away, we will now put the dog in a variety of situations. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay maglalagay tayo ng more tempting food, uh, fried chicken, egg, tsaka pork. Ilalagay natin siya doon sa kalye kung saan lalakad yung kaso. Then, titignan natin kung kakainin niya or hindi. After the food was laid on the ground, the handler and the dog shall walk casually along the tidbits. Once the dog ignores the food, the handler must praise the dog immediately. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, here. Repeat the same exercise several times moving from one place to another while praising the dog after each successful try. Good boy. We can also change the location by letting the dog loose inside the owner's perimeter while somebody from the outside will throw the pieces of food while the dog is left alone. And if the dog ignores it, the handler must come out and praise the dog. Good boy! Yeah. Good boy! For the last and final test, the owner shall leave his dog loose inside the perimeter. He will show his dog that he boarded the vehicle and leave the place. Then, the person posing as stranger will entice the dog to eat the pieces of food being thrown. After a few minutes, the food is left untouched. Uh, good boy! Good boy. Be creative and imaginative. Create your own scenarios where you think your dog skills will be put to the test. You are in the best position to know your dog's strengths and weaknesses. We certainly hope you enjoyed our three-part series on anti-poison training. We encourage you to keep watching the show for more informative tips and practical training solutions. So stay tuned for more. We'll be right back. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay,